Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday. We're on our way to work, and uh, today we're going to get some filming done. Okay, guys, I did want to take a few minutes just to say a few words about the Humboldt hockey team uh, bus crash in Saskatchewan. Right here in St. Stephen, if you've, you've seen on my vlog in the past that we have a Junior A hockey team here as well. It's, it's basically the same type of league, it's just in a different uh, geographic area of the country. Our Aces hockey players do the exact same thing when they travel to get on the bus. They travel for three, four, five hours to get to the next city to play, and they do that for the passion of the sport. Now, these kids are all from 16 to 20 years old, and in this particular case, we don't know as of right now exactly what happened. Whether the transport truck went through an intersection or whether the bus did. We, we don't know the detail, but what we do know is that, is that there was 15 people killed. And out of that 15 was the bus driver and the head coach of the Humboldt Broncos hockey team. It really does hit home fact that you know we we also offer a junior a hockey team here and in a small town even like st stephen which is about almost 5,000 people humboldt saskatchewan was about uh, 6,000 people so roughly the same size and these teams are intermixed throughout the community there's families that build up these kids so that they stay with them while they're playing hockey uh, sometimes two kids will play So here's the 2012 Ford F-150 that we waited for two and a half weeks to get here. And Junior's been working on cleaning it up. And you can see the wheels are a little more shiny now. And uh, the interior has taken a little bit more effort than anticipated. But uh, nevertheless, she's, she's come along pretty good. It does have a few extras on it, like the uh, back rack and the uh, toolbox. And sometimes with these toolboxes, we get lucky if we can open them that is, 
and we find some pretty interesting stuff inside. But this one's just full of dirt and leaves. And we got underneath the engine here all shined up. Mint. So this morning our first job is the customer has some winter tires on his aluminum rims and we're going to put the uh, all-season tires on those aluminum rims and put his winter tires on some new steel wheels. So eight tires mountain balance from a busy morning. He also had a small complaint about uh, the pedal fade when he pulls up to a stop sign. The car stops fine, but the pedal seems just to go right to the floor, so we're looking for a, uh, a leaky brake line or some leaking fluid somewhere. So far, everything seems to be dry, all the lines. Nothing wet in the back. Probably can't see anything there. Well, I think we can declare it officially spring-like weather out here today. Uh, temperatures are probably in the 40s. We were able to get our flags out here as well as our flags on display here. Now uh, you can see across the road at the Dodge dealership they don't have any flags out. But I can guarantee you by the end of the day all of the dealerships along this stretch will have the flags out. Mark my words. So we finally got the recall done on the black Ford Ranger. We've been sitting on this truck now since we got the recall there about a month and a half ago and the recall said do not drive this vehicle. So what we ended up doing was parking it out back so that people really wouldn't be inquiring on it. But that doesn't stop people from looking. So I had a gentleman uh, about a week and a half ago come in and said that he was interested in it. Wanted to take it for a test drive and of course I couldn't, uh, I couldn't let it go because I had the recall notice. Uh, for the airbags not to drive the vehicle so uh, the recall is done now and uh, the gentleman I called him he's still interested he's on his way over so we're going to take it out front and make sure that uh, uh, make sure that everything's good definitely needs some gas so maybe we'll run it down to the reducer put some fuel in her Get some gas in it so we can come for a test drive and let's hope that we can get this thing sold. Presents. So I just got a text from my buddy Rob and it was a picture of a fancy new laptop. So I'm just heading over to pick it up. Can't wait. So I just left Cox's to pick up my new laptop. Can't wait to show it to you guys. That is my new laptop and I'm about ready to set it up. So I've got my new laptop all set up and I've got the new program that I bought called uh, Magix Movie Edit Pro works like a charm on this computer. No lagging, everything's quick, there's nothing to worry about. So I'm doing that right now and I'm just trying to get this little outro recorded so I can finish up this particular video and hopefully have it up to you guys by tomorrow. Like I said before, all the specs on the computer I will put them in the description below as well as the new editing software, the Magix Movie Edit Pro. Uh, I will put a link in the description below. So guys, as always, I really appreciate you guys tuning into my videos. Please give us a big thumbs up in the section below there so that I know that you're watching and you like what you see. If you want to watch more videos, you can click the box right beside me. And please 
hit that subscribe button so that you'll get notified anytime I upload a new video. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next upload.